So in this video, we're going to take a look at a drug called Galenia, or fingolimod. So as you may already know, since you're watching this video, Galenia, or fingolimod, is a now commonly used treatment for multiple sclerosis. So I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the pathway that it's going to be targeting, so you'll understand what it really does. So what multiple sclerosis is, is it's an autoimmune disease. So being an autoimmune disease, it's the disease itself is the result of these lymphocytes, which are a type of immune cell, making their way to the brain over here and attacking the myelin sheath on our brain cells. When these lymphocytes attack the myelin sheath, what happens is it degrades, and as a result, these brain cells aren't able to function as they normally should, meaning they transmit signals a lot slower. This results in issues that we see in many patients with multiple sclerosis, such as uh, loss of balance, for example. So for these lymphocytes to get here in the first place, what needs to happen is they come out of the lymph node, and from there, they enter the lymphatics. In order for the lymphocytes to get into the lymphatics in the first place, this molecule called S1P, or sphingosine 1-phosphate, has to bind the receptor on the lymphocyte over here. So when this binding occurs, this binding occurs, this guy onto here, it attracts the lymphocyte towards it. So something that's going on in the body is that there are is a much higher concentration of these S1P molecules in the lymphatics. As a result, you can almost imagine this, like the lymphocyte has a nose over here and it smells the S1P. So what it wants to do is move towards that scent. The scent is a lot stronger in these lymphatic vessels as, as a result, the lymphocytes end up getting attracted to them and move towards the lymphatics. From the lymphatics, they continue moving down and down and end up in the blood vessels. And then finally, from the blood vessels, they can make their way to the brain and attack these brain cells on their uh, and attack their myelin sheath. So, fingolimod here, what it does is it actually binds to this S1P receptor in the same place that the S1P would. As a result, you can imagine these lymphocytes are no, no longer able to sense this S1P. And since they can't sense it, or as I said earlier in the analogy, smell it, they're no longer attracted to the lymphatics. Since they're no longer attracted to the lymphatics, the, what happens is the lymphocytes aren't leaving the lymph node. Since they're not leaving the lymph node, going to the lymphatics, then the blood, then they're not gonna end up in the brain brain anymore. So to repeat that, what the, what normally happens is this S1P binds the S1P receptor found in the lymphocyte, as we see again here in these lymphocytes. But what fingolimod, as I put in orange here, does is it binds the S1P receptor in the same position, preventing this S1P from binding and therefore preventing these lymphocytes from being able to move to the lymphatics, then the blood, and finally the brain where they carry out the immune destruction of the brain cells that we see in autoimmune diseases, being, in this case being multiple sclerosis.